you might be thinking, what are the chances that I get shocked? There are a lot of factors, and you need to be aware of all of them to be as safe as possible. First, let's talk about voltage level and proximity. Different voltage ratings have different requirements for clearance. The greater the voltage, the greater distance you need to stay back in order to remain safe. For example, for this 240 volt panel, the restricted approach is avoid contact, and limited approach is three feet six inches. For this 480 volt MCC bucket, the restricted approach is one foot, and a limited approach is three feet, six inches. For this 4160 medium voltage starter cabinet, the restricted approach is two feet, two inches, and the limited approach is five feet. And for this overhead movable 13-8 system, make sure to leave at least 10 feet of clearance. Note that higher voltages may need even greater safe clearance distances. Remember that the limited approach boundary is the boundary where exposed energized circuits pose a shock hazard. Unqualified individuals should never cross this boundary unless they're made aware of the hazards and continuously escorted by a qualified individual. The restricted approach boundary is the distance at which an increased likelihood of electrical shock exists. It should only be entered by qualified personnel using the proper shock PPE. Approach boundary recognition is critical because electricity can travel through air. That means you don't need to come into direct contact with an energized circuit to receive a life-threatening shock. EPSCO, electrical power and safety company. Safety, diligence, collaboration.